Hey guys, today I got a 2011 F-150 that has a really weird power steering concern on it, and uh, I just had to record it for you. It sounds like a dead cat under the freaking hood. So I want to let you guys hear it so you can maybe hear some telltale signs of when your rack is starting to fail, and uh, you can get in and get it serviced before it totally quits on you. Now 2011 was the first year for electronic power assist on the F-150s. It's transition year uh, so early builds were regular old hydraulic assist and then the later ones were uh, the electronic assist so with, with any new technology a new totally new steering gear like that you're gonna have growing pains and the problem with these is the actual um, steering angle sensor inside of the rack they fail quite often and uh, once that happens it will actually disable the electronic power assist and throw advanced track and power steering faults in the cluster and then it may um, it may start shaking on you and making all kinds of weird crazy noises and uh, at first it may make a noise or two and not totally fail and then the next trip it'll just start screeching and locking up and it may just totally kill the actual power steering assist you'll still be able to move it but it'll be manual steering at that point and this one is making that really weird funky noise so um, this, unfortunately hopefully you have a warranty if this happens because the steering gear is twelve hundred dollars plus labor plus alignment afterwards um, so it's in these fifteen sixteen hundred dollar repair uh, just for your steering whereas the old days you may get out of the the dealership with a five hundred dollar um, repair total so it's a very very expensive repair luckily this guy has a service contract and he's getting a totally new steering gear and the problem being is that the steering gears no parts internally or even that steering angle sensor have bolts right on the side of it you think you'd be able to change it right nope they won't let you service them at all so it's you gotta change the whole rack out and it's very expensive so um, while this is an actual repair video it's more of an inf information type video to inform uh, owners of these trucks and uh, I'm gonna let you guys listen to it now and I'll show you how it sounds at first and then once it totally starts failing it it just starts screeching like you're, you're killing something under the hood so I'll let you guys listen now and here's the different warnings you'll get in the cluster service advance track power steering assist fault all kinds of lights be lit up in your cluster once it finally has found a fault and um, it has disabled it or partially disabled it and I'll show you how it sounds you pull back a little bit here you may notice this at first. What was that? And it sounds like a, a squeaky dry ball joint or something like that at first. And then later on, once it fully fails and it doesn't know where the heck it's at, whoa, there it goes, it starts doing stuff like that. And you're just trying to move the vehicle. Now, luckily, this one was still moving for me, and uh, I was able to pull it into the shop, but I'll let you listen now. Won't move. So it sounds pretty crazy, right? I just want to let you guys hear it. Uh, it it's kind of wild. It's kind of uh, freaky, especially if you're driving down the road or driving around a parking lot. You think you're 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 doing something a lot worse than you actually are. So uh, hopefully this informs uh, owners, if anything, and I give you guys a good example. And hopefully yours does not uh, exhibit this kind of concern because, like I said, it's about to get real expensive, real quick.